Hey guys, and welcome back to Prey. Now, I've been fiddling around with this for a little while, and it appears that for a lot of people, this quest bugs, uh, and I have a feeling it is also bugged for me. Um, this guy is supposed to appear, and I did actually look this up, because I've been doing this for ages. Um... This guy is supposed to appear as a phantom um, in the docking bay, or the life pod bay. Uh, however, he has not. It's possible, thinking back, that he may have appeared before. Um, but from what I've read on the forums, there is a lot of reports of this quest not working properly, which is also why you can't um, track his body down through the security stations because he doesn't have a body. He's a, a phantom that should spawn. Um, if you apparently keep letting these guys respawn by leaving the area, killing them uh, and going back, sometimes he does spawn, sometimes he doesn't. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit frustrating to have a game-breaking bug like this. This late into the game, really, because this game should have been patched. Um, but I guess I guess there's not a great deal we can do about it at this point. Um, we can always check to see if he has respawned. It looks like none of the enemies have actually respawned here yet, which uh, is a little bit of a pain. Let's see if we can get him to actually uh, turn up. Apparently, if he actually does spawn, you will be able to tag him. But again, it's not... No. It's not an exact science, sadly. Um, yeah, objective updated. That is really frustrating. Really frustrating because I like me my quests. Um, not sure what to do about this one, to be honest. Let's go down, see if he. Oh, who is this out of interest? Got a wrench. Nope. Let's have a little look. Anybody in here? Yeah, he is supposed to be here. So basically, that electric phantom that likes to walk around in here should be him. Because we should have a message as well. Uh, status, neuromods, data, audio logs. Should be like, Remmer is not Remmer or something. Uh, I didn't actually check to see if I've got this one, but it sounds familiar. We do have a hell of a lot of these. I'm sure we've got it. Yeah, Remmer isn't Remmer. Yeah. Four of us made it to life's a five. I'm picking up Remmer behind you. Negative. Remmer. Remmer isn't Remmer, Chief. These things. Chief, the main lift. It isn't working. We're locked out. Oh my god. Remmer. Remmer's here. Stay away. Teague. Stay away. Teague. Erica. Respond. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, again, people are also saying that you need to find that audio log in order to trigger the quest. Uh... However, we, we obviously have it, so... Um, I don't know about this one, guys. We might have to leave it for now. Which is a shame. Um, atmosphere control. Let's, let's just see if we can get all the enemies to spawn in again. Why is that? 
Why is that damaged? Um, let's get you set up here. You're actually fine. Uh, and now you're kind of pushed out of the way. That's fine. Right. Might need some experimentation. Usually going out of this door and coming back in respawns everybody. But again, it's not an exact science. It doesn't always seem to work. I spent ages doing this. And I was like, there's got to be... I looked everywhere. Um, but I was like, well, they keep mentioning the escape pods. So that makes sense. But yes. Unless the first time we killed him. The first time we saw that phantom. Maybe he was Remmer back then. Um, maybe. I kind of can't really remember now. But I suppose... I mean, there, there are still a lot of reports of this game having loads of bugs. Um, and it's kind of quite a complex game. But I feel that most of this stuff should have been patched by now. I mean, this game came out, what, a month ago? More than, well, more than that. I believe I brought it day one. It doesn't look like they have respawned. But they might respawn down here, perhaps. Whoa, what the hell did we break our ass on? Never mind. Anyone in here? No, still hasn't bloody respawned. God damn it. Actually, you know what we might do? Because this turret always gets destroyed. Come here. Come here, my little turret friend. I'm going to put you somewhere where you can be safe. More or less. Anyway, we can create a nice little kill zone. Of sorts, up here. I also want to try another theory that I thought about earlier. Because obviously these guys haven't respawned yet. What if... We drop you here. Uh, we'll deploy you. And we'll get this turret here as well. And you, my friend, can come over here. Could you shoot over that? I mean, probably. Probably could. Alright, now let's go get patched up. Hey, buddy. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Yes, I am. Why are you in the corner like that? Not as rough. Oh, did that not actually heal us? God damn it. A little bit too eager at getting away there. There we go. Cool. Right. Let's leave. We're going to ride the elevator down, then we're going to ride the elevator back up. And we're going to see if everything's respawned. This is like the last time I'm going to try this. If he's still not here, then never mind. Never mind. I was hoping this game had a new game plus as well, but apparently it doesn't. Which is a bit of a, a, bit of a shame. Um, I'm not sure though if this game would warrant a new game plus. Personally, I would enjoy it. I think it would be nice to come back through the game on a harder difficulty with uh, all of your shit powered up. Right, let's go to let's go to the lobby, and then we come back down to life support and see if they've respawned. I really kind of hope they have. Now, it looked like there was something funky going on in here when we passed it in the last video. That's just a shadow moving. Ooh. Nightmare's still dead. Right, well, let's go. I'm not sure the whole point of actually finding Remmer is either. I don't know what he will give us, apart from, you know, another quest ticked off. I don't know whether he's got some kind of special uh, item on him, perhaps. But as I've said before, at this point in the game, there's no real special items that interest us. We have everything we need. We really do. It, it really does feel like end game material. Um, and also, we did kill the chef. Well, 
I guess the chef killed himself. Recycled himself into uh, loads of itty bitty pieces in the last episode, which was quite nice. Now, are you back? Now, I do notice that this guy here doesn't always spawn. Uh, if you go in that, that door there. Which is kind of problematic. Now, are you here, sunshine? Can't hear you. No, you're not. Right, well, we're going to abandon this quest then. Because this one's just bugged. Poor show, game. Poor show. Well, we're not going to get the achievements for doing all of the quests then. Very poor show, actually. Very disappointing. Never mind. It does make me concerned, though. I'm not sure if this game is still actively being patched and things. I might have to look that up. But that is a little bit disappointing. I mean, even if it's an audio log that he's got on his body, I still want to read that audio log. Now, some people have managed to complete that quest. Um, so, I guess it's not completely broken. Um, some people are wondering if there's a pattern to how you pick up the uh, Remmer isn't Remmer and use some of the consoles, if that if that makes an effect. Someone even mentioned uh, using recycler grenades in certain areas might trigger him not to show up either. But uh, I'm not sure. Now. Mm, should probably go to a recycler. Objectives. Oh yeah, we've got that, haven't we? I guess we can do that for her. Actually, we need to go check on those guys. Are they still unconscious? I actually forgot we had a mission for her. Shit. Um, never mind, I suppose. Yeah, let's go to deep storage. Um, get her quest. go back to lobby. I mean, I guess we could do that now, but I need to see if those guys are unconscious. Because I'm not Maybe we can't actually complete the quest if, uh, if she's unconscious, which kind of makes sense. You can't really talk to an unconscious person. Um, but let's have a look. Uh, my dear, how are you feeling? I had to neutralize both of you. I had, I had no choice. Alright. I had to do it. Destroy oh, there. The but, didn't you hear him? Ooh. The no way. Alex is correct. It could work. And preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Morgan, please. There's so much to lose. Destroying the station, that should be the final option, not the first one. Um, alright buddy. I seem to have walked in on something a little bit uh, more advanced. Uh, sure, we shall, tr oh dear, we shall certainly try. In fact, matey boy, I am all for trying, um, different methods, okay? If the game will allow it. I don't like the idea of that we all die. That seems like a little bit of a hollow, cheap ending Not to me. This is the only of with a significant probability of success. You don't know that! Why am I arguing with a machine with nothing to lose? Morgan, the null wave. The science is sound. Trust your brother on this. Please. Look. <sighs> yeah, you go you go off and hum. You go off and hum. <laughs> Mate, can you stop pushing me? You know what happens when you push me? Alright, that's what happens when you push me. You deserve that, and you know you did. I'm allowing you guys to stay here. Because I'm nice and kind. But I will not have my uh, personal space violated.
Right, let's get out of it. To deep storage. So, okay, she's still firing on all cylinders. And I'm sure Igwe or whatever his name was will be fine. Ouch. We'll be fine. In a little bit. Um, terminal. What we need is objectives. Get rid of that. Because it's pointless. Terminal up here. Really? Was deep storage up there? That's kind of interesting. Pretty sure deep storage wasn't up there. Terminal. I thought that was something else. Sales division. Alright, well, I guess we're going through here then. I mean, that's what the quest says, so... That is where we shall go. Because we do as we're told, I guess. Okay. Yeah, man. Right. Hey, we've got some more friendos about. With that wonderful music. Now it's telling us... What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a... Uh, phantom. Um. Well, he's dead now. Okay, so it's time to go back. See, this is kind of broken pathfinding here. It's telling us... Right, where's the best way to go to deep storage? Uh, station map. We can get to deep storage. From... The, ah, yes, from the arbitorium. Well, we'll go back there then. Easy as that. No idea why it sent us back here, but I guess it doesn't matter. So we go up there, we go to deep storage, we will get that uh, bit of information for our friend. And then we shall get out, smoke loads of cigars, and uh, start thinking about whether we flick the old shit switch or not. Going to be a very interesting decision to make. If indeed there is a decision to make. As the game is kind of making me believe that there might be multiple endings. Um, I would love it if there's multiple endings. <laughs> but, I don't know, this game doesn't really feel like it, it would. Although I believe, thinking about it, now I'm... Um, I think I may have read something about multiple endings, but I'm not 100% sure. I've tried to stay away from as much uh, stuff on this game as possible. Apart from a few little uh, hints and tips that I've received here and there. Yeah, it's a shame. Well, I say it's a shame um, you can't... Well, they did actually patch that exploit. The exploit to get unlimited resources. And although I say it's a shame that they patched it... Um, you don't really need it. I mean, we've basically got unlimited resources at the moment. Once you pretty much get all the powers that you want. Now, I assume most people that play this will probably go for all of the powers they possibly can. Which, most of the alien powers just straight up don't interest me. So I guess I'm lucky in that kind of regard. Um... Let's go. It's deep storage. 
I wonder what happened to her dad, anyway. I guess we're gonna find out. What kind of horrible experimentation he was put through. I guess we're gonna find out. Maybe they like put typhoons and typhons in his brain or something. Makes sense, you know. It's bound to be something deliciously horrible. Or maybe he's still alive somewhere on the station, yeah? Maybe. Kinda of doubt it. I did wonder actually if the chef was gonna turn out to be her dad. But uh, I guess not. Uh -huh. This illusion's father, Andronov, the cosmonaut, he was here. I know he was. I'm sure there are logs, records in deep storage, but Morgan, you know what happened to him already. I did? You've simply forgotten what you did. Miss Illusion, she may not understand. Do what you must. She deserves the but truth. If the records are gone or happen to be destroyed due to the station damage, would be for the best. Well, I'm going to find out what happened. Oh, we have radiation there. Let's get rid of that radiation. Um, yeah, that that's kind of interesting. Whoa. That was a big payout. So, what the hell did we do? Oh, nice. We, at one point, must have been uh, some serious piece of shit. There we go. Yeah, we must have been a massive fucking douchebag. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Yes, you can. If you could help me today, that'd be fantastic. Cheers, boss. Right, well, let's go. Oh boy. Right, oh dear, this is going to be good. Initiating test procedure 29. Variant C, subject V-01-0655-32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. Do you have a family? Grab the Typhon Cataplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. <sighs> Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Typhoon Cacoplasma ah, specimen is in the chamber ah, with subject 32. Ah, subject, uh, subject vital signs are gone. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah. Data looks good. Scrub it and send it up to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. Well. <laughs> okay. Did we... Well, I don't know if we know that uh, that was her dad, but... Um, <sighs> we're all pieces of shit here. Transfer the damn file. Do it. Oh. She deserves to know. Now. 
Yeah, well, don't thank me too much. Um, <laughs> um, well, this is gonna be fun. So yeah, uh, we we uh, well, I technically, uh, I killed your daddy. By the way, I did it like he was a nothing. I mean, he was a nothing. He was a test subject. Um. Oh boy, this is going to be awkward, isn't it? This is going to be awkward. Um, I wonder how she's going to react. I mean, to be fair, right? Okay, let's level. We've given her closure. Um, so, we're not a... Oh, I was going to say we're not a bad guy, but... Yeah... Yeah, we are. We, we really are. What's worrying is there are actually like scientists out there like this. I mean, obviously not experimenting with alien, more shape-shifting uh, spiders. Well, that we know about. Uh, but there are definitely scientists out there that uh, give no shits about uh, the cost of scientific discovery. And that is kind of a, a worrying thing. But necessary, perhaps? Perhaps. Uh oh, let's get this over with. Looks like our little Typhon kill zone is doing okay there. We'll eventually get overwhelmed. It's a shame you can't just say like, you know what, love, fucking fill your boots. <laughs> uh, I'm off doing important saving the world duty here. Ah oh dear. I reckon she's... She's going to be a little bit upset. I mean, I can relate. I think we'd all be a little bit upset. Um, but I think she's going to be considerably upset. But then we saved her life. I don't actually like the characters in this game too much. Like, we I mean, we're playing a cold-hearted scientist who is kind of changing. Thanks to my influence. But, uh, hmm. Experimenting on live people? Is there something about that that's just... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boy. Hello. Hi, Morka. Yeah, uh, I think I can hear my mum calling. Don't worry. Not about me in January, anyway. The two of us can hold down the fort here. Uh. You know. I could get access to the sim lab. You're not going to listen? Feel good now. I even began to consider if there are any ways to use the. I can't believe you were able to find it. After all this time. Are you going to listen? Oh. Morgan. Initiating test procedure 29. There we go. Variant C, subject V-01. I'm just going to keep this handy. 32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscopes on, everyone. Do you have a family? Prep the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. <sighs> Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Try this is good. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Might need Permission to release. Yeah. Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Ah! Ah! Mm -hmm. Typhon Cacoplasma specimen is in the chamber with subject 32. Uh, sounded quick. Uh, kind of. Subject vital signs are gone. 
Oh. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Um, Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah. Data looks good. Scrub it and send it out to me as soon as you can. Well, you design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. So, uh, <laughs> you, you glad you heard that? You perform the procedure? The what? Killed him? And you knew? Uh, yep. Why? And to think, more. Um, I thought you were trying to help me. Why would you save me to do this? To buy back some guilt? So I forgive you? Eh. Uh. My father is right. You don't understand. Your father, mother, your stupid, deluded brother. You will never understand family. You don't even understand what it means to be human. I am quite human. Get the uh, hell no. away from me. Yeah, that went about as well as uh, I thought. You need some chill out time. Right, well, I... <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, I thought that was going to play out slightly different. I thought she was going to go, like, berserk. Can I loot her? No. Um. Well, you got the truth, in all fairness. That was, like, really awkward. Uh, what does the good doctor say about that? To be fair, right, nothing matters, my dear. We are, we are going to die anyway, most likely. <clears throat> I was surprised when Alex began to show up to your test personally. Mm -hmm. Yet he always greeted you the exact same way. How so? Hmm. Well, hmm. Thing is, did we actually know that that was her father? I'm pretty sure we didn't. It definitely makes me think a little bit more about the character we're actually playing as. Um, because we know Alex is a fucking piece of shit. We know that. But Morgan is as well. Um, well, back to the arbitorium, I guess. It's kind of a shame, really. Kind of a shame. Because we're always... I mean, in the beginning of the game, you're very much um, kind of convinced that Alex... Uh, Alex is the bad guy, but I think it's quite an even split. I mean, sure, maybe Morgan's forgotten most of this stuff, which she definitely has. Um, which is confusing Alex quite a lot. Which, again, is understandable. Because Morgan is having quite the personality drift. Due to our influence. Mostly. Which is kind of interesting when you think about it. Hmm... Well, let's see how this game ends. I'm guessing we've got multiple choices, which is... Well... Going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, let's... Uh, let's go up here and have a look. If I can... I'm going to see what happens if you make the other decision. If I can. If I've got an earlier save. And I'm also curious as to how that's going to influence the ending. If it, if it does at all. Right. Well. This place is clear of Typhon. Let's go up to Alex's little, uh, little abode. I actually remember how we get up there now. It's up here, isn't it? Um. Oh yeah, here. All right. I wonder where he is. I won't be joining you. Don't worry. 
There's no trick, just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth, like I promised. Give me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer, another video. Give it a look, and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. <laughs> I think we have. Before I give you the key... Um... Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talos One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. Because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. <laughs> I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and reset. I know. I'm including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. My gut tells me it's kind of a neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down, if it ever broke containment. Mm. Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. He doesn't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. What else are we going to do? Blow everything up? <laughs> that won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. Hmm. I'm ready. Do it. Well, well, well. Well, well, you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. This is a reminder I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests. They changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually. The constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my sister back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned, it's an mm. advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I'll have the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the coral. I'll send you the scan locations. Well, that changes everything. Um, you know, more interestingly, actually, um, it's almost like Alex, or Morgan, I should say, was almost the smarter of the two then. And Alex was... Mm, that's so interesting. All right, well, modifies the psychoscope to be able to scan the coral. What's that one? It's cooldown of the psi powers. Uh, we never scan anything anymore, it just doesn't matter. Let's remove that, put that one in. Right, let's go for this. Well, we're not going to blow the place up. We're not going to blow the place up. I'm kind of going to put down like a hard save here, actually. Let's go save game. We're going to save it there. And if there are two endings or whatever, we shall try and get them. Uh... 
uh, coral nose out here, really. All right, let's go. Hmm. Kind of interesting. All this time we've been thinking that we're actually the lesser of two evils when uh, now actually, well, I'm not so sure. I genuinely think that we were actually uh, the smarter, more dedicated one, in a way. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Yep. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? Hmm. Morgan, that video was... I'm still checking it against my directives. Go on. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's army key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the Coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. Maybe. Time. Maybe. Well, we shall see. We shall see before we make any rash decisions. So this Coral definitely seems to be some kind of neuro or neural um, infrastructure. Some kind of like giant brain, maybe. Oh, hello. Guess I should have expected that. Damn it! Zapping my guns. I don't alarm you, but there's been a launch from the Argus platform. Board of Directors is caught wind of the situation here. I suppose it was inevitable despite my efforts. That's why it's important we act quickly, decisively. They'll try to take this out of our hands, Morgan. That makes sense. Right. Well, let's find out where this coral is. Well, if it's all outside here, that's going to make things a lot easier than running around the entire station, taking. Ooh, got weavers. Oh, well, you know what? Let's break out the big guns. Well, that's certainly quite effective against those. And we can just tank the damage. Oh, you're not dead. You are now. Just tank the damage from those things because they're a pain in the ass. Now, where are... you? I suppose it makes sense that there's going to be loads of weavers around the coral. Now, where was the other weaver body? Is that it? Yes. Nice. So we are close. Ooh, there we go. That's a bit juicy, isn't it? Scan complete. More specimens required. Hmm. It's holding the psyche of all their victims. Yeah. Your hunch was on the right track. It's a kind of neural structure. Synaptic like activity up and down the length of it, like it's. Father warned me not to stink so much of the company's future on your ideas. I was right to ignore him. We're a good team, Morgan. Well, hang on, buddy. I haven't made my decision yet. Even though, I guess, we're going to make both decisions. They're very hurry. No. Nothing that interferes with memory formation. Search complete. Before I give you the key. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. I did tell from just a scan summary that wait. What is there's some kind of neural trip wire built into the coral. Right. Twice. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. 
Alright, I'm on it. I'm on it, boss. I'm on it. So I guess this literally is the end of the game. Interesting how quickly it kind of elevates. Well, let's ride. I wonder if there is definitely like a clear cut good and bad ending. Or whether that's up to your own interpretation. Again, I guess we're about to find out. Okay, here we go. So I guess if we choose to blow the station, then we will die. If we choose this, maybe we survive, but at what cost, perhaps? I am not sure. Um, machine can't find the speed and efficiency of the fabricators. Uh, while complex objects like weapons tend to be more, uh, more or less durable, that actually looked like an interesting bit of information about the fabricators. Then, right, let's go. Use my terminal to upload the data. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the coral. They're going to come after you. Well, that's okay. Um, we have more than enough. To deal with a typhoon, I am fairly certain. I left something for you on my desk that should help. You did? Is it finally like a better armored suit? That would be nice. Because this suit that we have is uh, pretty garbage. I mean, we've upgraded everything except um, the armor capacity, really. Although I suppose we could get a psi capacity, perhaps. Not really sure it's uh, that important. Well, why are we here? Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. You got you got nothing. You're literally worthless. Um, looks like we got a poultry, guys. Where are you to, buddy? Where are you to? Where you at? There you go. Now you can die. Those guys are a little bit annoying. Did you not die? I don't know where you came from either, pal. There we go. Poltergeist corpse. And the mimic. Cool. Right. Um... Why did it send us through here? God damn it. The quest markers in this game are really bad. I, I knew that we had to go to Alex's office. But it's like the quest was pointing us in this direction. So it's like, oh, well, obviously the game knows where we're supposed to be going. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, the silence pistol, in hindsight, was garbage. It's not even very good at long range. I suppose technically the uh, term uh, the pointer is marking above the door. Engineers. Thank you. Um, let's go. See, to be fair, Alex hasn't really been that much of a dickhead to us. More neuromods. Got that. Oh, isn't that sweet? Not really, but cool. Um, right. Upload the coral scan data. Right, let's save. Uh, 
intercepted protocols. What? Star Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of uh -oh. Talos One, effective immediately. All employees must now report to the Shadow Bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. Oh dear. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been relieved of their positions. Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. What the frick is going on? Shit. Okay. There you are. It still takes two whole blasts to bring one of those down. Weapon upgrade kit. Get some good shit from them, actually. Um, right. Well locked out. It's Dahl. He already has his hooks into every major system aboard Telos One. Disappointed with our parents. And usually they had a contingency in place, but a small foolish part of me believed they wouldn't use him against their own flesh and blood. Hmm. Regardless, we're not getting this coral data through until we do something about it. I don't like it, but you're gonna have to get into his command shuttle. See if you can locate his access point and cut him off. Right. Well, we can do that, I guess. The repo man. Access those. Ooh. Fuck you, buddy. Well, okay. At least these operators give us a lot of power for our... Um... Q-beam. And to be fair, the Q-beam is a really cool weapon. Against certain things. Doll will know you're coming. All Transtar personnel are outfitted with tracking bracelets. I have no doubt his operators are already on their way to rescue you. Yes, they Those have. Those bracelets are issued and removed in deep storage. Worth investigating if you want to fly under the radar. Hmm. That might not be a terrible idea. Deactivate your tracking bracelet. Yeah, let's do that. We do we even want to. I mean, who cares if he knows we're on our way? Damn. Maybe the military operator shouldn't alert us to its uh, presence. Just saying. I will take the Q-beams though. Okay, so let's go deep storage. You know what, let's just try it without de deactivating our Majubra. I don't think we really need to. We can handle pretty much anything they throw at us. Right, so where's the shuttle? Where are we going? Command shuttle, 19 meters. I guess the crew quarters? Or the lobby, that makes most sense, I guess. Hey boy! Give me your Q-beam cells. Alright, you know this place is going to be crawling. At least these military operators um, will probably be quite good at cutting up the, the Typhon. And pretty much all the enemies. But will it be enough? Looks like these things are breeding way out of control. Yeah, Mum. 
Okay. Morgan, I heard the announcement. No, no, I will not give you up. You are there for me, I am here for you. If you'd indulge me, I have a proposal that could get us off Talos 1 without any more bloodshed. All right. Just don't harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. Incapacitate Dahl. All right, well, we can do that. Um, okay, go into the lobby then. Yeah, I don't mind incapacitating him. That's a thing we certainly can do. Hmm. I did not think that there was going to be a quote rescue. This is Alex attempt. Hill speaking to any surviving crew of Talos One. I know many of you are frightened, angry. Perhaps you blame me for what's happened, but I never intended to harm any of you. Believe me, quite the opposite. Commander Dahl, on the other hand, has no intention of rescuing anything except the secrets aboard this station. Hmm. You're all liabilities to the company now. Dahl, I'm sure you can hear me. I don't know what my... what the board told you, but you're out of your depth on this one. Call off your operators, or at least help us hold back the Typhon. We're on the verge of... Hmm. Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist. Even though he's hiding. And you are running around like a nervous rat. Not quite. I hear you chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to fix the mess you've made? Or just get away? I pride myself in being prepared for the worst. You but can this, handle the worst. This is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. Yeah, things are a little bit beyond your comprehension right about now, buddy boy. Hi, Morka. Hmm. Feeling a little bit better now after you're sleepy. Morgan. What? Well, she's not completely blanking me, which is curious. Um, let's break down. Which we got seven bloody neuromods again. Uh, oh, we got that that we don't need. What else do we have? Got that that we don't need. That might invest in some more of these disruptor batteries. So much more efficient now. Holy crap. Probably don't need recycler charges anymore. Probably. Right, what do we got? There we go. So, let's get some more batteries for this. Um, disruptor batteries, what do they take? They're actually really cheap to make. How many do we get? 150? 150? All right. I'm not expecting that many. It's got like a thousand of these. And then we can do some science. Alright, that'll do. So. Um, so we've got a thousand and seventy-eight. Alright. So let's fire a shot. Morgan? Oh man, thank God. I've just been going down the contact list hoping somebody would answer. I'm in trauma center. I came up here to look for supplies. I think I broke my arm when that blackout happened. Now I'm trapped. Aliens outside the door. I could really use some help, man. Uh, sure. I will come help you now. Right, so we had 178. Uh, 
Yeah, so now, 178 we had, so it literally takes nothing to fire this thing now. Uh, right, actually, you know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking trap, maybe? Let's go have a little look. Whoa, look at this coral. Aliens outside the door, you say. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Morgan? Uh, military operator? Yep, this hurts. What did I say, guys? Pretty sure I said trap. Uh, well, this is a rare instance that we could use a medkit. Wow. Wow. Wow, this hurts. Um, I hope you got more operators than that, bud. Like, a lot more operators. Good thing we made all this ammo. Yeah, no one's repairing you, pal. Not that we actually needed all this ammo, to be fair. So are these bloody things going to be everywhere now? And I'm actually really glad I invested in this gun. Though I kind of guess we invested in all of the guns. So, you... Snaky little bugger. Yeah, do me up. I'm getting so much QB mammo. Um, right. Ooh. Put you down. Right, well, that was effective. How much have we got for the Q-Beam? Uh, nearly 2,000. We've done well here today, guys. Let's... get some more of these. We're going to need them before the day's out. That should be plenty. Should definitely be plenty. Right, how many have we got now? Yeah, yeah, we only really used like a hundred there, which is pretty crazy. We've got shit tons for that. We've got loads of spare parts. Probably more spare parts than we're ever going to need. So let's recycle some of those. We're going to want suit repair kits, I reckon. Let's... Break some of those down. I'm going to make suit repair kits. Okay, out of the way, love. We can't even, like, interact with her now. Um, suit repair kit. That, does, that literally takes next to nothing. Because those things rip through our armor at quite a rate. Right, how many suit repair kits do we actually have now? Boy, do I feel like a fool for getting rid of those. But in our defense, we really didn't need them. I think 20 should suffice. I mean, they're not super important, but they bloody help. 
And we do have another upgrade for this. Uh, yeah, let's go for handling, sure. Right, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, when we come back, well, I guess we are really close to the end. And we do have to start thinking about what decision we're going to make first. So, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.